Hey guys, my name is Mark and today I want to show you what a picture lock looks like. I'll explain how I got it here and where it goes from here. Well actually that, that doesn't make sense here and here in the same sentence. I'll explain how I got it to this point and where it goes from here. Yeah, that's the one. Boom. I need a coffee. Now the picture lock is the third and final stage of an offline edit. And the offline edit is broken down like this. You have the rough cut, you have the fine cut, and you have the picture lock. Now the picture lock is where all of the network changes have been approved. The cut is the time, and all the picture and audio elements are locked. It's been a seven week process to get it to this point, and this is where my job as the offline editor is officially complete. From here, the cut goes to an online edit and a final audio mix, but I'll get to those in a sec. This is the picture locked sequence, as it looks like in Avid Media Composer. Avid is actually the program most used in broadcast film and television. That is to say that Premiere Pro is starting to kind of come up in popularity, but still, most of the workflows at this level are Avid Media Composer. So if you are an aspiring editor out there, learn Avid Media Composer. Now I understand it is probably a bit daunting to the untrained eye. There is actually some logical sense to it, so let me just break it down for you. The timeline sequence is the workspace where the entire edit is built. And it's broken down like this. You have these video layers where the picture portion of the shot elements are placed. And down here you have these audio layers where the interview or drama sync, music, sound effects, and narration are placed. Now an important part of the picture lock phase is to have these tracks all organized. Now the way I've got this edit broken down is my V1 layer is where I put all of the drama and interview images. V2 and V4 are relatively unused. V5 is where all the archive is placed. And V6 where all my VFX elements go. Now everything above that is where I put titles, supers, and locators with special instructions for either the online color correct or the audio mixers. Now I do like to break up my audio and video tracks with this time code track, just keeps the two separate. Now down here in my audio portion of the timeline, I use tracks one to four for drama and interview sync. Audio tracks five to 10 is where I put all of my music. As you can see, there's quite a lot. And tracks 12 to 22 are my sound effects. And I've reserved audio track 23 where all of my temp narration goes. Yes, I do all of my own temp narration. I used to absolutely hate it, but I've completely gotten used to it now. But I am looking forward to when it gets replaced with the actual professionals. It makes a huge difference. Now it's really important to have everything nice and organized on your timeline so that the steps that follow picture lock go as smoothly as possible for the online and audio mix. From here, the timeline is conformed, which is the process by which all of the cut media is up to the full HD uncompressed quality. And that sequence is sent to the online editors who work out the final color grading and correction for the show. The audio mix is where the final sound elements are worked out. All of the sound effects I've dropped in will likely get replaced with more appropriate and higher quality sound effects. 
and where the final narration will be recorded and mixed in. Now the online portion and the audio mix portion are hugely important components to the final edit. And for me as an offline editor who's used to watching standard def proxy files of the video and working with temp sound design, seeing the final online and what the audio mix does for the edit is like watching the show again for the very first time. It's, a, it's night and day difference. So that's it. This is it for my episode of Air Crash Investigators and it also caps off the 18th season of the series. Now I do hope this video gave you some insight on the post-production process. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm happy to respond. Um, if you liked the video, hit that like button and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Feels pretty good. Yeah.